Hi, I'm Hanya Lukowska from the 13th cohort of the Data School. I'm going to show you how to use the multi-row formula tool in Altrix. In particular, how to fill in gaps in the data from Excel's merged cells. Before jumping into Altrix, let me show you the data itself. As you can see, I have a very small data set that groups activities into categories. For a number of activities, I have a merged cell with the name of the category. Additionally, each activity has an associated score. When I import it into Ultrix, the cells are no longer merged and I end up with some missing values for the category field. Multi-row formula is my go-to tool to fill in those gaps. You can find multi-row formula in the preparation category. Let's look at its configuration now. With this tool, you can either create a new field, which is the default setting, or update an existing field, which is exactly what I want to do. Now you can see that once I click to update an existing field rather than create a new one, I no longer have the opportunity to change the data type. So if you need to change the data type, that's something that you need to do before or after the multi-row formula. NumRows refers to how many rows above or below we want to have access to. One will be perfectly sufficient in this particular use case. As for values for rows that don't exist, they will not really apply in this scenario, so we can ignore the setting for now. If you decide to select anything in the group by section, Ultrix will consider only a subsection of the data at the time, which we're not really interested in the moment because we want to treat our data set as a whole. So the final configuration of this tool is to actually the expression of how we want to update the category field. When I'm deciding on what the expression should look like, I like to have an idea of what the data looks like that's incoming into the tool. And so I do like to change the anchor that I'm looking at in the results pane into the input anchor, which means that whilst I'm setting up the configuration, on the left hand side, I can still have a look at how my data comes in and find the appropriate expression. To build the right expression, there is this top section available for you with variables, functions and saved expressions to support writing expression itself. Now, what I want to do with this multi-row formula tool is I want to look at the category field. And if that field has value already, I don't want to do anything. However, if the value is missing, I want to take the one that's above. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an if statement. So I will be checking if the value of category, so you can see that I go to variables, section and I want to look at my active row. So I want to check if category is not null. Then I want to bring back that same category value. Otherwise, I want to bring in the category value from the row above. So row minus one will mean the row above, row plus one will be row below. Now, once I have that set up, I need to close the statement with end if. You can also click apply. And now as I run my workflow, I can see that my categories have been populated. So switching between the input, I can see that my missing values are now populated with the value at the top. And that's it.
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to use Multiroy Formula Tool for filling in gaps in your data. Please check the description of the video for links to additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe to our channel so that you can know immediately when the new content is available.